it's been very freeing for me to stop considering cheat days on the weekends. Hi guys, the baby's sleeping and I'm wearing makeup, so we should make a video. I really wanted to talk about something that I got some feedback on from our Instagram account. The difference between dieting, the concept of dieting, and cheat days. So for years and years and years, I did whatever diet was popular that month, that week, and then on the weekends, I really kind of let myself go. I did the, the whole cheat day mentality. And you know, you really think, okay, I'm just gonna cheat on Saturday. And then Saturday starts to bleed into Sunday. And I was eventually kind of seeing myself cheating from Friday night dinner through Sunday night dinner, which is like a third of your week. So that's kind of a cheat 30% of life. Um, and I was really struggling to keep up my diet during the rest of the week. So. I've had kind of this profound shift in the mentality that I've used on dieting versus cheat days. And instead of using those terms and sticking to those terms and planning a day that I'm gonna let myself binge, instead I'm just kind of trying to live as healthy as I can throughout all seven days of the week. And when an opportunity to have a meal that's unhealthy presents itself, hey, I'm feeling really lazy tonight, can we order some takeout? or hey, we're headed over to my mom's house and she's making a pasta dinner, something like that, then I can just enjoy those things instead of planning and thinking ahead and being like, okay, well on Thursday, I've got a work event and you know that means I'm gonna be eating poorly then, it means the rest of the week I have to be clean, clean, clean. The less rules that I've made for myself and the less I've been militant about sticking to I can only cheat on this day, actually the more healthy I've been throughout the week. Um, I've found myself, instead of cheating all weekend long, I'll have some ice cream on a walk around the lake on Sunday afternoon, but then I'll have a salad for lunch, whatever it is. I think a lot of this change started to happen when I started to meal plan very specifically because I've got all of these great ideas in my head for meals that I wanna make, and then I go buy the groceries for those things, and if for some reason something comes up, we get invited to dinner at Lenny's parents, I now have the ingredients for lettuce wraps and I don't want them to go bad. And so it's okay that we eat healthy tofu mushroom lettuce wraps on a Saturday. I don't have to have Thai takeout food because it's Saturday. And so I think that meal planning has actually changed. I don't plan meals for the weekends, but sometimes they end up kind of scooting their ways in if we miss them during the week. So. I probably plan five healthy lunches and five healthy dinners a week, and whenever we happen to eat them, we eat them. It's been very freeing for me to stop considering cheat days on the weekends and instead just trying to be as healthy as I possibly can and enjoying the opportunities for. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, hit that thumbs up, um, and we'll see you in our next one. Thanks for watching.